Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. My name is Klaus. This is my house. We're playing some Valkyria Chronicles. This is right where I left you, and we're going to continue with our battle today after we end our current phase. So basically, we uh, took a whole shit ton of people out. You can see all those X's up there. Uh, Rosie did some serious work, and you can kind of see why this was important. We also got them down to only 3 CP, so that's really nice as well. Uh, if we can do some really good work here, we could maybe duck. Oh, we got him in the head, too. Uh, you can still take him out, though. Your gun's way better than his. There you go. Nice, Vice. All right. Not bad at all. All right, so this is probably like a scout or something. Be nice if we could see, uh, but, you know. Ah, oh, there was someone over there. Duck. Ooh, and you got hit in the face. I knew there was someone over there. Nice. And we took him out. There we go. That's the way to do it, Ted. We're doing some serious work up here. All right, orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need to use orders, though. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save this game. Uh, just because we're in a really, really good position right now. Yep, let's save it. We'll override it, and let's get out of here. Okay, so uh, Rosie's pretty much all that we're ever going to need. Hmm... So it's probably a good idea to take her, kill this tank, and then come down and uh, just get ready to do some some good work. We have nothing left to worry about from the south. Um, I'm really worried, though, that if we took someone like Alicia, we could get her probably here, but no further. Uh, and that's particularly concerning for me. Uh, what we might be able to do is take Welkin and get him up here. Let's see. He traveled from here to there with one. So, no, he wouldn't make it. He wouldn't be able to make it unless we did, like, two turns. And I think that's kind of wasted. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll take Rosie. New target sighted. And, uh... New target sighted. Oh. Good to know that's there. We only have to hit this thing five times, so let's uh, let's go for it. There we go. Not bad at all. And those are probably shock troopers that are down there. So that's just really, really good to, uh, to be aware of. We also have a leader there. And those two guys are standing. Which is another really good thing. What is this? Oh, it's an engineer. Okay, so we have... A shock trooper there, a shock trooper there, um, an engineer. So we know how good he's going to be, and uh, a scout over there. So let's um, let's go take her down. I'll mop the floor with you. And then uh, we'll take her that way. Watch out for enemy counter offensives. All right, so we were able to get her by without getting shot at at all, uh, and no one, no one's even looking over here. Wow, okay. Uh, this is when we're going to take Alicia and hope that we can get up there. My turn, okay? Even if not, we're going to be perfectly fine. Just want to try and get some good lines over there. We can't allow them to reclaim their camp. Here we go. Follow me. And we still have some moves left. All right, and we just need, what, three, two in the head? Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Hmm. Good. That makes things a bit easier. Okay. So we'll end the turn with Alicia, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pick up with Rosie. Um, we're probably just going to end up making a run for it. And everyone's going to be focused on Rosie, so when we turn the, the corner, uh, we'll be okay. No, don't end. I'm on it. Whew, that was... You getting back into my American ways. All right, let's take you out. Go down. There we go. Mwah. Nice work. Keep taking them down. All right, so everyone's kind of on her. Uh, and she's actually not doing too bad. I'm on it. 
Um, I went like right away. All right. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's get in a crouching position. Who are these guys? And we'll end the turn. You can see she's handling the damage really, really well, and that's what shock troopers really do. Um, so, you know, just a just a heads up there. All right, so she does have a grenade. I tried to position Rosie far enough My away. Turn, okay. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get it this turn. That's uh that's really not uh, anything I'm too concerned about. Defend the base. All right, here you go, buddy. Eat it. Oh, nice. <laughs> we just missed Rosie. Nice Keep taking them down. All right. And there we go. Occupy it. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Not too bad. Operation complete. We took their base. Yeah. All right. So we got a B. Hmm. Which I agree with. I mean, that basically is saying that you could have beat that in one turn. Which I'm not going to deny. We could have definitely beat that in one turn. Instead of taking Welkin in the beginning, we could have taken Rosie, pulled her up next to those two scouts behind that row, um, or Alicia, something like that, grenaded them both, they would have been done. Uh, pulled her up as far as possible. Then we would have taken Rosie up two turns. Well, I don't know. Rosie one turn or them? I I'm not sure what the best strategy was there, I guess, but... Um, then instead of going to the left and taking out those tanks, we could have turned to the right and take out that tank over there, used Rosie to take out the two shock troopers, and then basically just hauled ass with Alicia or another scout to be able to uh, pop into their base and, and take it. Um, but we did get a lot of experience for the kills because uh, we killed a lot of the leaders, and we did get some good money for that as well. So B is not bad. Awesome. And then we'll go uh, talk to this war correspondent. Why not? You guys aren't with Squad 7 by any chance, are you? In fact, yes, we are. Yes, that's us. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, hot stuff, on the tank. Me? Hey. Uh -huh. um, Don't catch Alice, Alicia. Me, I... That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's uh, me. Easy daisy What? <sighs> hey, you can't... Oh, nice to meet you, too. Now, <clears throat> let's get right to the questions. So, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the uh, hardest experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! Jeez. This is a combat zone. Excuse me, but what are you doing here anyway? Hey, give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near Scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story. A good story. And you guys are it. So, you... Uh, you're a reporter? Very good. I'm a reporter, yes. <laughs> I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews. Thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? <sighs> no. Yeah, what are you gonna do, right? All right, another episode. That must be seven, and then we'll wrap up chapter three. Distrust. I don't know about that. I don't like. Uh, I don't like when there's not synergy in our group. What's up, Rosie? Ugh. Now he's giving interviews. Who does he think he is? She came up to me. Ooh, look at him, son of some big hero. Please. He's still a schoolboy. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Ah, oh, I hate kids. <laughs> ah, whatever. He'll learn soon enough. Only one thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. That's not too untrue. Hopefully, uh, we can kind of turn into meat for these four. guys. Operation Cloudburst. 
Awesome sauce. All right, cool. So we got through chapter three, personnel tab, weaponry tab, glossary tab. Jeez, we're getting all the tabs, personnel, weaponry, and glossary. Uh, these three tabs offer information on the game's cast, the arms they wield, and the things and places that form their world. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The contents are automatically updated as you progress through the game's plot, so check back on a periodic basis. Pretty cool. Castlefront Street is now available. War Cemetery is now available. Personal... Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, we get it. That's a lot of updates. Let's save, because, you know, important. Uh, oh, oh, oh. And I want to... Uh, I'm going to go look in the other stuff. So, let's take a look in these new tabs. Uh, personnel. Oh, my God. This is going to be a lot of reading, and I don't think that I'm going to do it. But more or less, this just tells you about the people. Let's get out of here quick before I can read. Uh, and then the weapons. I actually do like these sections. Um, it's pretty cool. It actually shows you um, the the picture of the weapon. You can uh, you can twirl it. You can zoom in on it. Uh, it's 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 pretty it's pretty cool. I don't know. I just like it. And then it tells you all the things. Like it's seven point nine two. So um, it, I I think it's a little bit weird, but it's almost kind of like they switch Germany and everyone else in this it's I, I guess it's kind of weird but anyways the point i was going to make was that they fired a 7.92 it's an eight millimeter mauser for any of you that are interested in rifles and stuff like that just uh just a heads up and fyi i don't know i just kind of like this stuff it's pretty cool um and then you can see like the other people as well now this might just not be like they're switching things but i notice a lot of the gallian stuff is german but you can see here like the zm car um that is a uh, kind of a reference to like the um the m98 car carabiner i don't know it it was a car 98k and that was essentially like the german carabiner um or like the carbine rifle so we can take a look at that one too and you can see it's just their carbine rifle it's what their scouts are using this is actually a 762 which again i say is kind of like flipped because uh you can see the rounded front sights you can see, well, I guess the back sights are kind of um, similar. And, I, you know, we can let's reset the camera and I'll show you kind of what I'm talking about. So you have that rounded front sight there. And in the back, you have like the two tracks that go up. Um, I think the the actually almost all bolt action rifles at the time had that. But that rounded front sight is like super Mossen Naganti in my mind. Not necessarily the body of the weapon, but it's also using a 7.62 which is the uh the, a Mossen Nagant fire is a 7.62 uh by 54 rimmed so anyways uh is kind of what it is it's it's interesting uh it's almost like the russians are the bad guys <laughs> it's kind of what's happening here uh anyways we've gone through this enough but that's pretty much what that is um i don't know if there's like stuff in there that you want to see let me know we can always go take a look at it um but that is what it is and then the glossary uh yeah this is just kind of like explaining the different stuff so if you guys like lore, I don't know, maybe we can do like lore type stuff, just like an extra little short video every now and again, or maybe like once a week or something that just kind of like goes over each point in the game, if you guys are interested in it. Uh, okay, so let's actually go to our headquarters because I want to use some of this experience um, and uh, and use some of our money and see if we can't uh, do some stuff. So uh, Castle Front Street, ah, this is like our, our published stuff. So that's uh, the reporter essentially. Hey, Lieutenant! Off duty today? Yep, that's why I'm here. Your timing's perfect. There's something I want to show you. Won't take but a minute. Come on. Alrighty. Ta-da! It's the writing on the wall. Written and published by yours truly. Nice. Hmm? Why do this when I already have a radio news gig, you say? No, I didn't say anything. Stop. Sure. <laughs> I could leave it up to the print news guys, but they're all lapdogs. The government censors everything. Nah, that happens. And not just a little cut here and there. In some cases, they'll bend the harsh truth into candy-sweet propaganda. I believe it. I'm so sick of it. I want to give my readers the truth. That includes the bad stuff, too. So, this is my brilliant plan. The writing on the wall. Okay. Some things are only possible in out-of-the-way spots like this. Out of sight from those government goons. Sounds good. I'll keep this space filled with up-to-date, absolutely factual info. No censorship. Okay. And your exploits will feature heavily, I'm sure. Well, because you are so assigned yeah, to me. Come by and have a read sometime. Okay. i just like to see it. Uh, okay, cool. So we do have these two stories here. If you guys would like me to read these, again, I'm up for whatever. 
Uh, but I do like to give you guys kind of like gameplay stuff and strategy. I don't want to just be like 20 minutes of me reading these like glossary dialogues and stuff like that. So uh, just throwing that out there. And no. I want to put a book out. <sighs> some no, I'm just skipping you. I'm skipping you. No, nope, you're. See I don't want. I, no, I don't see it. I don't want to talk to you. I plan on put Okay. We we can we can buy that whenever. Whatever. Uh and the no one's fallen in battle, so I'm not gonna go there, particularly because I don't want to talk to anybody. I just wanna go and go to the training field. We can uh rank up our guys and then um we can do the other stuff. Welcome What's up, bro? to your Yep. Train all you want. I've got all day. Good, me too. Uh okay, so scouts are gonna need quite a bit, but we can get everyone else up. Uh, we don't necessarily need to keep them all at the same level, but uh, definitely want to get them kind of all going. Uh, I like to keep my scouts like one or two levels ahead. Shock Troopers are good, particularly just for Rosie, uh, but I don't want the Lancers to fall too far behind either. Yeah, I'm sure. Let's do it. Fight the awesome. Leveled a lot of these guys up. Good work, maggots! You're one level closer to human! Looks oh, like nice. that session beat a new potential out of the scouts. Cool. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the shock troopers. Good. Another Looks one. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the lancers. Hmm. Okay, you've earned clearance for a new order. Put it to good use out there. Sounds good. What is it? Defense boost. Okay. And uh, if you guys recall, we actually used that with um, Silveria in the very beginning. We we uh, put her in a defense boost and then boom, leveled the crap out of her. So what do we get? Undodgeable shot. Ooh, that's actually really. Can we like select her? Uh, so attacks have a set probability of being impossible for enemies to ev evade. That's actually really, really good. Uh, another undodgeable shot. Some stealth, sighting, uh, evasion boost, undodgeable shot, and some stealth. We also got. Uh, one for the shock troopers as well so let's take a look that was undercover fire when crashing their attack power is boosted another really good trait if we're defending with rosie one she has incredible range and two her attack power is boosted if she's crouching so she has awesome range she can see people for miles as they're running up when she's crouched she can just start going away at them and she has increased attack power uh melee skills not bad melee skills undercover fire that's good uh first aid boost first aid boost not bad uh and looks like we got first aid boost jan is a tank killer so that's something to keep in mind in later missions when there are more tanks and rosie can't go running around trouncing everybody it's going to be really important that we have someone like jan on the team who when near a tank they have higher accuracy so if we have like a really slim chance of a shot jan is going to be better than some of the other lancers so that's just something to keep in mind. Looks like Hector has it as well. So that's good stuff there. Uh, nothing really going on for our uh, engineers. And uh, we don't get anything new for the snipers either. So let's exit the training field. Come back anytime. Yep, we get it. And then we can go into the R&D facility and hope that we can get uh, something cool going on there as well. Uh, you'll notice I didn't use all my well, EXP, can... but we weren't going to level anybody up really anyways. So it's not a big deal. Uh, so I... Oh, I guess we gotta wait a little bit before we do some of this stuff. We have a lot of money to use. Um, yeah, just gonna check each one because you never know. You just never know. Uniforms, maybe? Nope. And then blast suits. Nope. Uh, and we could look into Edelweiss stuff, but we're not really using the tank heavily, so I'd rather just save the money and uh, keep doing that. So we can't upgrade anybody and we trained our people. So let's keep going on with the storyline. Uh, that being said though, we are coming up on the time for the episode. So I think since we're just starting a new chapter, we're gonna leave that for the next episode. I hope that you've enjoyed this one. Uh, and yeah, let me know down in the comments below if, uh, if you have, or if you haven't. Otherwise guys, I hope you have a great day, great night, whatever to see you and I will see you back here next time for some more Valkyria Chronicles.